Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak about best free-to-play infantry hero pairs so far in Call of Dragons. Uh, this is like a preparation for the next season for the free-to-play players who want to know which kind of legion type has the uh, best possible free-to-play friendly hero pairs. So far I already did about cavalries which was Emrys and Bakshi and today we are going to speak about Madeline and Garud. First of all let's understand um, what this hero pair means how you can play with them and what kind of strategy is best for this one right uh, we are going to check it out Madeline at first uh, and as I have said it before Madeline is the free to play friendly hero because you can get it from the lucky spins and it won't be hard for you to generally unlock her right first of all let's understand the skill set of the Madeline and Garu then what type of synergies they have with each other for the Madeline, uh, her first skill is defensive skill with some uh, attacking attributes, physical attack bonus 20% and shield factor 1200. Shield and healing in my opinion for infantry heroes are another way of being tanky which is always great And whenever we are speaking about tankiness of infantry hero pairs. The second skill is the one of the best skills in the whole game. Uh, maximum legion capacity 15,000 more troops will be available for your hero pair whenever uh, Madeline is uh, one of the heroes and physical damage tilt for 10% we can see here Madeline is like a, a bruiser like tanky and damage dealer infantry hero with the shield factor with the uh, legion capacity well more troops you are going to have inside your legion uh, more time it will take to kill you, right? So 15,000 more troops is absolutely amazing. The third skill is infantry unit HP bonus 15% and counterattack damage bonus 15%. In general, in my opinion, in Call of Dragons, best stat uh, for almost every single legion type in the game is HP. Uh, simply because more time you're alive, alive during the battlefield, more uh, merits you are going to get, right? The fourth skill when blessed blade shield is broken legion deals damage to up to three surrounding legions 300 uh, maximum skill damage factor another offensive skill for the meddling in terms of awakening skill um, that's the uh, like more damage uh, taken mean minus 10% for 4 seconds it's, it's getting more tankier uh, so like uh, Madeline's main play kit is about dealing damage and having some sort of survivabil survivability abilities and let's see what, how it can uh, actually match with Garwood and make this hero pair so strong right well it's pretty known that Garwood is all about being tanky and it's all about having a lot of heals and first skill is about 1200 healing factor which is which is quite a lot and 20 percent damage taken reduction 20 percent is quite a lot right the second skill is like garrison army skill and stronghold which is is quite useless for the pvp and the third skill is infantry unit defense bonus 20 percent and healing healing received bonus 30 percent you are receiving healing from the garwood's first skill right the fourth skill is uh 75 percent chance to increase physical damage deal by 50 percent by 30% for 5 seconds when healed so like you can generally proc this ability almost every single time whenever you are fighting and of course uh, the awakening skill heals slightly wounded uh, units in Garwood's legion healing factor 1400 200 more and grants them resistances reducing all damage taken uh, by 20% for 6 seconds before it was 4 seconds so what kind of synergies we are going to see with the Madeline and Garwood, right? First of all, uh, more units you're gonna have, more tanky you are going to be. Uh, you are getting shield, you are getting healing. So in my opinion, every single defensive stats which you can get in Call of Dragons, you are having with this hero pair, right? Shield, healing, damage taken reduction, reduction counter-attack damage, more troops which will make you more survivable, and some skill damage factor which might might benefit you in terms of damage right you can't be purely just tank you might you have to deal some kind of damage to enemies so main idea is like this 
uh, more troops, more shields, more healing, more counter-attack damage, and pretty good stats for infantry players because unit HP and here we have defense, right? Damage reduction uh, and uh, unit defense is both most important uh, stats for infantry hero pairs. So this is a, a way of playing with Garwood and, and Madeline, uh, having more troops, having shield, having healing, counter-attack damage, and like what else you want to be tanky in order for infantry to be successful in pvp right that's the main idea about this hero pair and most importantly you can have it as a free-to-play player both so you will be strong in infantry section whenever you are playing as an infantry right so right now it's time for us to speak about talents and i spoke that madeline should be primary um uh, and um, Garwood is secondary, you can actually mix and choose because most important talent for infantry heroes are tank talents and both of these heroes has tank talent. Of course you might want to have some PvP depending on your game gameplay but uh, tank talent is generally the best one whenever you are playing with the infantry. Uh, for example um, like impregnable defense your legion gains shelter when entering butter increasing their defense by five percent for 10 seconds and of course vitality your legion receives healing when casting a rage skill more healing you are going to get more uh, time you are going to stay alive in the battlefield of course the situation is different whenever you are garrisoning uh, during garrison healing is quite bad because it gonna make your hospital make full really easily but right now we are speaking about pvp uh, and i think in pvp during pvp healing is quite good if you ask me right as always uh, whenever i'm speaking about talents i always say that just don't copy and paste the talents of the heroes um, from the other people just try to understand what would be your main way of fighting uh, and I, I think for like whenever you understand what you are choosing as your talent and you can you're gonna read it at least once you understand what kind of pros and cons your hero has and it will help you with your gameplay so like in terms of talents uh tank talent tree is the perfect one and secondary is of course infantry but in case you want to play as a medaline primary you might sometimes go with the pvp tree it's also nice but i'm not going to say that it's the best one right for the artifacts so well uh, as i have mentioned in in other videos uh, we have two types of infantry artifacts in this game. First one is like, of course, offensive artifacts and second one is defensive artifacts. In my opinion, uh, for the infantry hero pairs to be successful during PvP, uh, defensive infantry artifacts are 10 times better. Uh, simply because more time you're gonna stay alive, more damage you're gonna deal as a counter-attack damage and your pure job is to help your alliance members to push or defense that's your number one priority you are not going to deal a lot of damage as an infantry your main job is to be tanky as tanky as possible first of all let's uh, go through with the free-to-play friendly artifacts for infantry which is Pango Pashkari all around their PvP tank artifact, uh, Legion defense stats on a boat stats, which is the main idea why I like this artifact, and the uh, skill which is Sandra Shadow, which simply just uh, like using skill, it sunders through you know, and around the circle maximum four enemy legions, uh, dealing physical and magic damage 500 on the first level, uh, which gonna go to 1000, and the duration is eight seconds. I'm choosing this one because it's a free to play friendly artifact you can get it from the normal keys and there is not much of a defensive artifact there for uh, infantry players right uh, if you're gonna speak about um, the best ones um, i think the best artifact for infantry is uh, dragon scale armor the best stats hp on the bows infantry and legion hp and of course grants a boon shield to your legion 2200 uh, duration is 10 seconds and also grants kin to up to three friendly legions 
three, uh, also grants Kin to up to three friendly legions in a circle. Kin is a attack bonus up to 10% for 10 seconds. And also, also the additional effect, your legion gains the range resistance when the wielder gains a shield through the rage skill, right? And the Madeleine also gains shield from the force skill. Range re resistance, range damage taken, minus 9% for 5 seconds. I think this is like one of the best... Uh, Infantry artifacts, uh, defensive ones, and as I said, defensive artifacts are way, way better than offensive ones. So, if you want to have a number one choice in terms of uh, artifacts for this hero pair, then the way to go is Dragon Scale Armor. The second choice, I would say, uh, Graymer's Warhammer, Infantry Unit Defense, Legion Defense, and the skill of this uh, artifact is mainly a uh, damage dealing skill, which might be good for you if you don't have Dragon Scale Armor, at least if you have Graymer's Warhammer, you will be gladly using it. It's a main idea about this artifact that it's stunning the enemy for 4 seconds, and effect can be triggered uh, triggered once every 10 seconds right that's the main idea about this artifact and the last uh, top artifact for this hero pair in my opinion is uh, spirit bone torque of course this artifact is especially great with Goresh and Skolgul but nobody said that you can't use this artifact on Madeline and Garud infantry defensive artifact um, with the skill um, grants 600 rage points and taunts up to 5 surrounding enemies, enemies legions, taunting means that 5 uh, legions will be uh, attacking you while you're gonna deal counter attack damage, also you are getting shelter, uh, determination, shelter is 15% more defense and the determination is normal attack damage taken minus 5%. So I think the best option is Dragon Scale Armor, and then it will be Spirit Bone Torque, and the third option is Graymer's Warhammer. For a free-to-play players, of course, there is like only one choice in terms of uh, infantry artifact, that's the Fang of Ashkari, which will do its work. It won't gonna be perfect, it won't gonna be the best one, but at least you are going to do things with this artifact of course we have to mention some uh, infantry offensive artifacts because there is a lot of them in the game currently uh, mainly from the uh, free-to-play keys uh, from the artifact keys uh, such as for example spring of silence um, i have used this artifact and my legion have been the squishiest in terms of infantry and i was super surprised why my legion was squishy then I went for Fang of Ashkari and finally everything back to normal. The idea behind Spring of Silence is that um, it slows the enemy whenever you are using the skill. Also skill is damage dealing skill. So everything about this artifact is um, offensive which I don't really like about infantry artifacts. The Dragon Rift um, is again infantry offensive artifact. Um, quite good for Madeline but as I have said it before defensive artifacts are much much better for infantry hero pairs uh, i hope uh, it will be helpful for you guys because i have gotten many questions regarding infantry artifacts and i will say it again run with defensive ones uh, preferably hp and if you don't have hp bonuses try to get defense bonuses because you will be 10 times more uh, tankier and you will be able to stay alive longer during the battlefield uh, in terms of um, the war pets for this hero pair there is like a couple of options we have to speak about right and first of all I think first pair with Madeline and Garwood will be totally fine. Uh, first, firstly, because Frost Armor actually works pretty good with uh, Madeline's shield. And you can see, like, when your Legion gains a shield, whenever you are running Madeline, you, of course, getting 1200 shield from the first kill. Uh, you, your Warped gains Primitive Strike, 40% chance to deal damage to the target Legion upon being hit by a normal attack. So, I think um, this can work. It has a synergy with Madeline, but... Uh, Frostbear is mainly a uh, kind of offensive type of uh, warped for the uh, infantry players and that's why I mentioned this simply because uh, of the synergy with Madeline's first kill. Of course you can run Stripe Bear because of the vigor you are getting and healing you are getting from the uh, Stripe Bear, especially great with Garwoods in general and I think uh, infantry hero pairs has a way more options for the warpets than any other legion type in the game so i think uh, frostbear is offensive one uh, stripe bear is defensive 
Intensive Warped, which is getting bigger. Well, bigger is HP bonus for 5 seconds. Every 100 healing factor increases vigor effect by uh, 0 0.17. And, well, it's all about HP and it's all about healing. So you are getting a lot of healing from Garud uh, and a lot of HP bonuses from Garud. So this will work for you also. Uh, another two Warpeds, which is fine and which I highly recommend is venomous lizard one and of course sand lizard sand lizard is all about healing uh, healing multiple legions healing as much as possible and i think stone aura uh, with the madeline and garwood will be totally fine in terms of venomous lizard well venomous lizard is kind of a damage dealer warped but as i have said it before uh, with madeline you are getting 50k more troops a lot of defensive stats garwood has a lot of healing a lot of hp bonus so you have to, you you kind of will be uh, staying alive longer in the battlefield and whenever you are having infection and venomous lizard it's a kind of taking damage uh, is a poison damage you will deal quite a lot of damage to enemies right so as i say have said before in terms of warpets you have quite a lot of options and there's another reason why i think uh, madeline and garwood is one of the most uh, free to play friendly infantry hero pair in the game because you generally have a lot of options in terms of everything in the game and options is kind of required for the free to play to have because if you have some kind of limited uh, capabilities it means that you will spend a lot of time and energy and currencies to get those things in the proper way right so both bear can work uh, Stripe Bear can work, Sand Lizard can absolutely work, and Venomous Lizard is quite good. Uh, this is all about Warpets, and now it's time for us to speak about how you can get those heroes, right? Uh, in terms of Madeline, there is a Lucky Spins almost um, once every two weeks, like choice Lucky Spins, whenever you can choose which kind of hero you want to get. Uh, and it's not really hard even for a to play player to at least unlock Madeline. And after that, you will simply choose Madeline in the VIP uh, shop and uh, you will be able to get Madeline tokens at least one per day. Of course, if your VIP level is higher, you're gonna get two, uh, but at least one should be like normality, which means every single day you are going to get one Madeline token. In terms of Garwood, the Garwood can be gettable from the gold chest, from the gold keys. Uh, that's why, like, simply you are getting Garwood tokens from the gold chest by simply playing the game organically, not spending anything else or extra, and you are getting Madeline tokens from the VIP shop. That's another reason why I think Madeline and Garwood is quite a good uh, free-to-play friendly hero pair in general in the game. Um, of course, the best one is Goresh and Skolgul, but it's not that easy to get both of the heroes, um, especially none of them is gettable from the gold chest, so... Uh, 5 one, one, one Goresh and Skolgul is not that powerful. Uh, you kind of have to have high levels on their skills in order for you to perform well with them, right? So that's why, in my opinion, most free-to-play friendly infantry hero pair is Madeline and Garwood. And I hope you gonna you guys will take the notes and try out this hero pair because it's tanky as hell. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to make more content for this amazing game. I hope everybody have a great morning, day or night. Um, we are going to see each other very, very soon. Bye-bye and good luck.